Hi, welcome back to Chem with Chem. In this session, we're going to be working question six of chemistry paper two from the January 2022 sitting. If you've missed the first five questions, be sure to check them out on the channel and all the other materials that are present. And of course, consider subscribing, turning on post notifications so you can be alerted each time new content is added. Let's just dive in. Six, chlorine bleach can be used to prepare emergency drinking water supplies in time of natural disasters when pipe borne water is unavailable. It is made by mixing chlorine and sodium hydroxide, also known as caustic soda, in a kind of reversal of the chloralkyl process. State one physical property and one chemical property of chlorine. So physical property, you can say it's a yellow, green gas and there are other physical properties as well like it's moderately soluble in water it's denser than air let's just get right to the chemical property all right so chlorine reacts with metals to form metal chlorides and just like that two marks Describe a simple laboratory test that can be used to determine the presence of chlorine gas. So we would use a moist blue litmus to test for chlorine gas. And if chlorine gas is present, it would turn the moist blue litmus paper to red, then it would bleach it. And Two more marks. Part three, state two uses of chlorine gas other than for purifying drinking water. Don't want to get technical, but it's also used to disinfect pool. That's not drinking water, but that's one. Um, we also use it to make antiseptic, for example, Dettol. So let's just add that one. We also use it to make insecticides. All right, so DDT has chlorine in it. And we have mentioned that we use it to disinfect pools. So much more than two. All right, part B. CFCs are organic compounds used as refrigerants and propellants in spray cans for deodorants, paints, and insect repellents and are known to be harmful to the environment. Part one. State the meaning of the term CFCs. So CFCs mean chloro, fluoro, carbons, chloro, fluoro, carbons. Give a named example of a CFC and state its formula. All right, so we're just going to use the simplest one we can think of, CFC. So Chloro, fluoro, methane. So it's regular methane, CH4, but we have replaced two of the hydrogens with two halogens. So we've replaced um, one hydrogen with chlorine and the other with fluorine. So what we have is CH2ClF, part three. Give the name and formula of a molecule with which CFCs react in the environment. Now, straight up, ozone. We've been hearing about um, the hole in the ozone layer from I've been in primary school. And the formula is O3. Part four, so two marks just now. Part four. Part four, describe the process by which the use of CFCs result in a harmful effect on the environment. All right, so well, when we use CF, um, chlorofluorocarbons, as they rise up to the upper atmosphere, the stratosphere to be more, are more exact, they, they are broken down when they come in contact with strong UV radiation. This releases chlorine radicals or the chlorine atoms. We haven't touched radicals as um, yet. And then the chlorine, chlorine atoms now, or the chlorine radicals now, react with the ozone, it eats away the ozone pretty much. And we have 
the ozone layer is there to protect us from the harmful UV rays. So with the ozone layer being um, depleted, you'll find that more harmful UV rays can come in. More of that will get to Earth. When it does, um, let's look at the effects on the um, environment. Phytoplanktons are at the base of the marine food chain, and these, these are these can be damaged by the UV, the harmful UV radiation. Phytoplanktons, they are, they are UV sensitive. It also results in the disruption of leaf formation in plants. And we know that plants are at the base of the food chain for mankind, and that affects um, photosynthesis. Right, so we can have those are well. Those are the environmental um, effects. Now it causes it causes um, more UV coming in. Also causes um, more more persons getting um, skin cancer, cataract, and so on. So those are the um, the environmental effects. We don't need to talk about the cataract and the skin cancer because you know that's not really an environmental effect, so to speak. So it's really what we just mentioned. So we're just going to write that down. All right, so CFCs are broken down in the upper atmosphere by strong UV radiation, which then results in the releasing of chlorine radicals or chlorine atoms, which further react with and deplete ozone. Without ozone layer to protect us from the harmful UV rays, more of it will reach the earth and can disrupt the growth of phytoplanktons, which form the base of the marine food chain. They can also reduce leaf formation in plants, which are also at the base of the human food chain. So those are the harmful effects on the environment. We don't have to mention the, the, the cancer or the cataracts because they are for the um, effects on the environment. So we have to just be specific to that. So just like that, you would have gotten 15 marks. All right, so and this would take us to the end of this, the end of this question. Um, thank you for joining. Please check out the others if you've missed them and leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can see more. Couple later.